Hello, I'm Carlin Betcha. In my new book, They Lost Their Heads, I follow the adventures of some famous body parts. I'm here at the Mütter Museum in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm here with some of my friends, or part of them. Most biographies, they end with the person's death, but they lost their heads. It begins there. Einstein, there you are. I was just about to tell everyone about George Washington's rotting teeth. George Washington's teeth were disgusting. Ugh, to it. That's true. Okay, fair enough. We'll begin with your story, Einstein. Einstein's brain was stolen during his autopsy in 1955. During the time, his doctor, Thomas Harvey, wanted to save his brain so that future scientists could study it. He sliced up the brain, put it in a mason jar, and put it behind a cooler. At one point, he even stored the brain in his sock drawer. Huh? Are you okay, buddy? The greatest mind in the world, and he puts me in a sock drawer! A sock drawer! Yeah, maybe we should move on. And they lost their heads. You'll read about several stories and body parts who had some wild misadventures. You'll learn about the king's heart that was saved and then later eaten. You'll learn about a true story of a corpse bride. And also my personal favorite, how Elvis Presley's wart was saved by an adoring fan. Every jarred heart, lock of hair, lopped off ear, preserved bone, or even pieces of a brain have a story to tell. You can find these stories in my book, They Lost Their Heads, at your Scholastic Book Fair. Great! Come back! Don't leave me alone with these numbskulls!